Summer Kids Crafts. This program was made possible by Harris County Public Library and Lone Star College Sci Fair Library. It's Miss Lucy. Today's craft time. In this episode, we're going to learn a little bit about beans, hear a story, and make a craft. This is a lemon queen sunflower. We're passing by it on the way to the beans. I just wanted to share it with you. Isn't it lovely? Hi! Now we're standing in front of my scarlet red runner bean. Scarlet red runner bean makes these beautiful flowers, and that's how it's got its name. The leaves are similar to a heart and they look like this. Scarlet Red Runner Bean is edible and it needs some support when it's growing because it can get quite tall. All right, another type of bean that we have here in the garden is called a bush bean. Bush beans get a very pale lavender colored flower and the variety name on this bean is called Provider. The leaves also look very similar to the leaves we saw on the Scarlet Red Runner Bean. It looks a little bit like a heart. After the flowers fade, the beans will start to come. And the beans look like this, similar to green beans you might have for dinner tonight. Next, we're visiting my hyacinth bean vine. As you can tell, it's really tall. The flowers on the bean vine are so pretty. They're sort of a purple, a dark purple magenta shade. And when the pods come after the flowers fade, they're also purple. And then they fade to this uh, tan color. The leaves are similar to all the other bean leaves I've shown you. They look somewhat heart-shaped and they have pretty veining in them. If we squish this bean pod, we can feel the beans inside. Here we have four bean pods that I picked off the hyacinth bean. Let's open one up and see what's inside. If we look, we can see it has beans. Now these are the seeds for the hyacinth bean plant. And inside this pod, there are four, ooh, are there four? Let's count them, how many, how many? One, two, three, four, five. There are five beans. Now the beans have a hard outer coat and when they're planted, the little root and the shoot will break through and you'll have a new hyacinth bean. Here we see the hyacinth bean plant in all its stages. On the far left, we have the hyacinth bean seed. Next comes the hyacinth bean seedling. Then we see the hyacinth bean in flower. When the flower fades, you're left with this lovely purple seed pod and as it ages, it turns the shade of tan. And we saw earlier when we open it up, we'll find more hyacinth bean seeds inside. And we can start the cycle all over again. A long time ago, in a land far, far away, there lived a small boy, and his name was Jack. Now, Jack was a good boy, and he lived on a farm with his mother. The seeds they had planted for their crops didn't grow, and Jack and his mother were very poor, and they had no food, and they had no money to buy food. It is true that Jack and his mother were very poor. They had no food and they had no money to buy food, but they did have a beautiful cow named Betsy. And this gave Jack's mother an idea. Jack, oh Jack, come here my son. Yes, mother, yes, what is it? I have an idea, Jack. You can take Betsy into town and sell her, and we can use that money to buy food. Oh, Mother, that's a great idea. I'll start out right now. So 
So Jack wasted no time. He started off on the road to town. As he walked, he thought about how lucky he was to have such a wonderful cow, and he knew she was worth a lot of money. Soon they would be able to buy the food they needed, so Jack continued walking Betsy into town. Suddenly there appeared a mysterious man. Hello there, young lad. What's your name? My name is Jack, and this is my cow, Betsy. I'm taking her into town so that I can sell her and get money to buy food for my mom and me. Money? What do you need with money? You look like a very smart boy. Wouldn't you rather have magical beans? Magical beans? Oh boy, are they really magic? Yes, I will gladly trade you this bag of magical beans for your cow, Betsy. Oh, wow! So as Jack headed home, he became more and more excited. As soon as he reached the very edge of the farm, he planted his beans. He was so excited to see what would grow. The next morning, when Jack woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. It was the most enormous beanstalk he had ever seen. He began to climb. He went up and up and up and up. He kept climbing until he reached the clouds. Thank you for being such good listeners. We're going to end our story here with Jack climbing up up, up on a magical beanstalk into the clouds. As listeners, you are going to get to finish the story. You're going to get to tell me what happens next. What will Jack find when he reaches the top? And what will Jack do when he gets to the top? If you think you'd like to finish this story, please leave your ideas in the comment section below. Remember, be creative.
well guys that's all the time we have left for today i want to thank you so much for watching before we go isn't my purple fountain grass beautiful please keep reading this summer follow the link below to learn more we'll see you in the next one Thank you.